Cannon's up. He invested a lot in the uh, the offense, and Jim Diddy just wasted too much time. Yeah, let's get into game number two. Um, I thought that Az's build was quite clever. I it was good. It was it good. I've seen that on career plenty of time. Uh, usually the cannon's more more proxy into the base, yep, yep. so they get zealots right into that drone line. Um, but it's good, and it was decent follow up. But I, I would have preferred to see like stalker into like tech into into something more a bit more interesting than a cannon. Yeah, yeah. I think I think it's more robust, more uh, extravagant, extravagant, more innovation involved, more safer. I feel. Alright, so on the bottom left hand corner we have the purple Zerg. It's Jim Diddy. Mm. And the top right, uh, bottom right hand corner, I should say, is ETL's Az. Good old Az. Alright, so um, I still haven't. I'm going to try out a new overlay after this game, of course. Like one that I can actually see the income. Can you do like Control N and stuff? Control N? Uh, just as the. Yeah, I think I need to know all the hotkeys off by heart though. Yeah, yeah. Control Shift N. Yeah, that's it. So, I can, we can hear in the background we like can hear some chick raging out at Street yeah. Fighter. She's losing to Street Fighter. She and got smashed. Yeah, she is pretty mad. She is she, actually. She just, mad? She's pretty mad. Yeah, she raging. All right, so we're not seeing any pulls or anything early out of either player. It seems to be pretty standard. Oh well, not really that standard because <laughs> as is doing he's his doing the same shit, man. Well, I think he's relying on the Overlord Scout to be bad. And uh, well, I wouldn't say bad. I just say typical. Uh, tip, uh, yeah, the uh, most usual standard. Um, well, yeah. yeah, I I would probably have the same kind of placement for my overlords. So uh, you'd send one to the main, one to the mat, and then the third one would go over your natural. I would probably go wh where he's headed now. I'd be like to his natural with yep. my first overlord, and then my second overlord would go to his natural gases, like in the outside. And, yep, so, so. Um, but I would be drone scouting simply because uh, of what happened last game, and I would yep, see yep. this. Then I would be like, okay, it's going to make Zerglings kill it and expand and be ahead because it's a big investment. So we've got the. Well, he's just making probes back at home, so he's not planning to totally commit to this. We look at the unit tab, they're even in workers. Well, one less for Jim Duty at the moment. Mm. We're starting a zealot, did he see that? He didn't see it this time. No, either. he didn't, but I think it's safe to assume. It's like, so far everything's happened the same way. Well, uh, he hasn't got to the nat yet, so he hasn't been able to confirm that there's a forge fast expand. Yeah, very true. So if he puts down this pylon here, which he should, mm. there's a good chance that Jim Diddy could be full. Ooh. Oh, so we see the forge being built yeah. there this time. Interesting. So he just he intends to make this kind of more all in, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, it, it definitely does feel that way. Uh, we got two Zerglings making. Yeah, it's two, just two. two already out. So uh, I don't know why that probe's uh, probe's going to cannon it. So he's going to cannon the third while pushing into the main. So wow. this is kind of a wonky build, don't you think? This is probably oh. the, the wonkiest kind of build. Um, it's very typical of Az, I feel. Yeah, Az loves his, his kind of gimmick style. Uh, he loves to be cheesy and random, but in a good way most often. That is such a good cannon placement. I would. Yeah, it's that. gonna sink the heart once it finishes. And Jim Diddy's like, oh, oh there's lots of links here though. He's he's uh, continuing to make a few zealots. He can still, I th the zealots will still win that fight, but um, even yeah. with the queen. Yeah, the queen won't do that much. Depends where the zealots hit. If the zealots are hitting the zerglings. Yep. It's good. The queen doesn't do that much damage. The queen's about to die. And yeah. the queen goes down. So he must have been distracted with this action right here. Yeah, he brought, brought sadness into his heart. Yeah, Jim Diddy, Jim Diddy's actually losing to the strat two games in a row. Big time. Uh, it's pretty much over. <laughs> well, it's not completely over. But, uh, well, it's not over. Last but game was a lot better for Jim. A lot better start, anyway. Uh, from this, as long as Az expands and kind of just techs and yep. turtles, I don't think he can lose at all. Well, he's planning on throwing his Nexus down very shortly. Uh, the probe's already there waiting. He's just going to sit the, sit at the bottom of this ramp and make sure that no one can get out. Man, if he can, so like, it's just no way. He's so going to speedling approach this game. Do you think the Roach approach would have been better for this one? This game, at this point, yes. Uh, either that or he needs a, like a second queen to spread creep up there and start hitting the Zelts. Yeah. Stop them from blocking. Uh, I probably would have done second queen, some speedlings, uh, maybe a spine crawler. Clear it out, take the natural, uh, and proceed into a kind of an 
wonky normal game. Yeah, wonky normal. Wonky macro. It's a very wonky normal, man. Like maybe go into Spire? Do you think a Spire uh, check would be good from this position? Can be. You kind of really got to scout for that though, because Phoenix play is so common these days, and if they go Phoenix and you're going Spire, it's pretty much guaranteed loss. Yeah, yeah. Um, you got to be careful with that. Uh, well, I do remember a game you played against Grubby back in Wings of Liberty, where you went like a Corruptor muter style. Yeah, on man, that's bullshit. Shit. That's cool. But um, I think Phoenix are a bit better now. Yep, yep. So with the speed upgrade, they are definitely. Yeah, yeah. They can so kind of our micro muters straight up. Yeah, well, they, they get like a little bit of extra range or something. Yeah, yeah. So sick, man. And uh, yeah, that kind of makes it even harder. So he's he's got his Roach tech out. He's. I think he's planning on like countering some other kind of all in, but I think that Az has made the correct decision in going for this uh, kind of two base play. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, as long as he gets a couple of sentries out, maybe an extra cannon once he sees the, the roaches. Um, goes in the Stargate. Can't go wrong with Stargate, man. It's yeah. pretty much a guaranteed win. So, in this follow up, how long do you think it'll take for Jim Diddy to kind of? Try and do the push. Do you think he's going to do the push now, or do you think he's going to wait until he builds up a little bit more forces? Um, I think he's going to push down now because it's, it's looking like he's it's really against time. I mean, the natural's up and running for. Uh, well, he loses uh, that roach, which is not good. Like, yeah, maybe he's going to hi uh, hide like a couple of roaches, clear yeah. out some of this stuff. Or not. Or not. That's cool. But he, he really needs to, to make a move soon. Well, he will get the gateway and the forge, and. Um, there's no forge building back here, so mm. unless he actually goes heavy on the units or gets another forge immediately, there's a good chance that if Jim Diddy hits it this just right and as doesn't build enough cannons, he could actually just bust. Yeah. Yeah, but it looks like two cannons are up and it looks like I think some centuries have started. Yeah, centuries, centuries have started. Uh, that pretty much guarantees safety at this point. Uh, there's just not enough riches, not enough economy for Jim Diddy, not enough really anything. Uh, as a sitting sweet right now, yeah. it's pretty a little bit of a problem with the supply block, but that's over now. Um, I'm imagining that a Stargate's going to go about here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I would actually do two Stargate, man. I'd, I'm a big fan of Stargate. Yeah. Well, double expand and it's seen. How do you well, feel about that being seen? Oh, and I think it's okay, ship call. but it's, it's pretty much just too late. Um, yeah. There's no real way to come back from this kind of disadvantage. He's been so so far behind in economy for so long now, and that's something you never ever won with well, Proto. Look at Proto. this huge gateway timing that's coming. He's yeah. starting with this mothership call right here. Well, the only thing that can hit it is a. Um, he's gonna he'll kill the queen. Really? Does yeah. This the queen was too damaged to begin with. Um, straight up. So now there's absolutely nothing stopping this mothership call, except for another queen. Three, if it comes. man, It'll shoot those little lasers at the hatchery for a long, long time until another queen comes. Well, he's got two bases fully saturated now, but there's an immortal coming. There's Ooh. this gateway's going down, so he's gonna hit at like a delayed immortal sentry timing, and he's yeah. got the mothership core as well. So he might want to he might want to pull back, pull this back Whoa. now. Oh, he pulls it back. Is he gonna? Oh, we're yeah. not gonna see a time warp this time. I was thinking that maybe he'd throw a time warp so he'd maybe. take a bit less damage. Maybe. It'd be good if he had the time warp for the uh, the push there. Yeah, yeah. I respect it. The time warp for the push might be deadly, and if the if Jim Diddy cottons on and makes like a ton of units to somehow deflex this, then that recall will be precious for like defending the counter push. Absolutely, but uh, I don't think I don't think Jim Diddy could defend this at all, to be honest. Um, well, he's pushing out with one immortal, he's not waiting, which mm. is a good decision because the longer he lets these three bases get up, the better chance that Jim Diddy has of defending. Mm, absolutely. He, he sends the probe out, he's not making a warp prison, which is kind of unusual. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty small investment, I mean, it's just minerals. Yeah, it's just minerals, and he sees this push coming. We see 10 roaches in production, speed's three quarters away finished, plus one is on its way. Layer tech is just about to pop, and we've got the stalkers being warped in back at home. They're walking across the map now. Oh, we've got a little bit of lag Ooh, from Jim, Jim Diddy. Diddy. Jim Diddy, all that boring. Oh, so we've got the stalkers engaging first quite quickly. So he's going to micro stalkers back. He's going to. He gets no roaches in that push, which is kind of unfortunate. He gets the third, though. Yeah, the third goes down, and this is looking very dire for Jim Diddy. Very dire indeed. I like this observer as well. It kind of deflects the like, early roach play that could be happening, mm. and that's what ended up beating Crank in uh, 
LGIM. Yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. Look at that. Those time warps, that force field. Wow. He kind of overkills in the force field and there. He kills in the time warp too, but yeah, it's all good, man. He's, yeah. He's got this down. He's got he's got enough units to beat this, and it's going to be very hard. Jim Diddy can't push down this ramp. There's just too much Protoss right yeah, now. So many overlords going down too. That might even be a supply block right now. Yeah, I should probably check that. That, <laughs> that is not a supply block because he just doesn't have any units left after he lost all those roaches. Yeah, yeah. Jim Diddy's going for a last ditch effort. He's pulling his drones. He's got his units. All he's got in production now is five roaches. He is hoping for it. He's just hoping to hold. But this stalker ball is going to be deadly. That force field. It's kind of a wonky GG. force field, but yeah, GG. Wonky all the way.